Hi, this is Kushbu with another question of areas of parallelograms and triangles. This is question number 22nd from exercise 15.3, page 15.42 from Adi Sharma. This says in figure 15.85, ABCD is a trapezium, that means this line is parallel to this line, and BC is 40. We have a BB 40 centimeters, AB is 60, this is 60. If X and Y, X and Y are respectively the midpoints of AB and BC, these are midpoints. AB is midpoint hai, and Y is the midpoint of BC. So we have to prove that XY is equal to 50. This is 50 proof. First of all, we will extend it a little bit. So we have two triangles. Here we have this one. Here we have this one. Here we have this one. These two triangles. Now we have two triangles. So we have one, two. In triangle DCY and triangle D, supposing that this is P, PPY, सबसे पहली चीज़ हमारे पास गिवन है, ये वर्टिकली ऑपोजिट हैं। This angle one is equal to angle two, angle one is equal to angle two, वर्टिकली ऑपोजिट एंगल्स, और ये लाइंस पैरेलल हैं। DC पैरेलल है AB के, PSK पैरेलल होगी। so if you see, यहाँ पर इस तरह से अगर ये AB के पैरेलल है, तो यहाँ पर ये ऑर्डिनेट एंगल्स बन रहे हैं। So this is and second thing हमें पता है कि Y मिडपॉइंट है। That means BY equal है CY के। So BY is equal to CY ये हमें गिवन है। और ये वाला एंगल, because ये लाइंस इस तरह से Z फॉर्म कर रहे हैं। So this is equal to this because अगर BC AB के पैरेलल है तो AB के ये पैरेलल होगी तो वो this is three and this is four and the three equals and the four since BC is parallel to AB this implies BC will be parallel to AB so alternate angles are equal the triangles congruent हो गए so triangle BCY is congruent to triangle BPY by angle angle side angle angle side rule. So CPCT से we can say कि ये जो DC है, this DC is equal to this, this BP ये आ सकता है DC equal है BP के. Therefore DC is equal to PP by CPCT, DC PB के equal है and ये जो DY है is equal to PY, DY equals to PY, दोनों के लिए common reason है, तो ये हमें जानता है XY is 50, XY 50 है, since X और Y दोनों ही midpoints है, of this line and this line, तो ये DP का भी midpoint है, and Y this implies y is the midpoint of this term of the y midpoint is dp ka bhi so x and y are midpoints of this ab and this dp since x and y are midpoints of ab and dp respectively इन दोनों के मिडपॉइंट्स हैं, देखोर एक्स वाई पार्टल होगी एपी के, एक्स वाई इस पार्टल तू एपी, और इसका रीजन हम लिखेंगे लाइन सेगमेंट जॉइनिंग द मिडपॉइंट्स ऑफ टू साइड ऑफ द ट्रायंगल इस पार्टल तू द थर्ड साइड एंड इस हाफ ऑफ इट, लाइन सेगमेंट जॉइनिंग द मिडपॉइंट्स मिडपॉइंट्स ऑफ टू साइड ऑफ द is parallel to third side and is half of it. So third side one bus hai kya AP. AP ki length kya hai? AB plus BP. 
That means AB है हमारे पास 60 and BP है 40. That means 100, 100 centimeters और XY हमने कहा है इसका half है, half of AB. So XY is half of 100. That means 50 centimeters. ये हमें prove करना था कि XY is 50. So this is 50 centimeters. Now part second में DC by X is a trapezium. We have to prove that D, C, Y, X is a trapezium. Now, X, Y, we know the parallel is AB and AB is parallel is CD. We will write since X, Y is parallel to AB, X, Y is parallel to AB. Parallel to AB. This implies x, y is parallel to a, b. a, b के parallel होगी. And a, b is parallel to c, d. ये हमें given है. Therefore, x, y is parallel to, जो तो आपस में दोनों equal है, it's parallel to c, d. Therefore, d, c, y, x is a parallelogram. Part third में आपको prove करना है कि area of trapezium d, c, y, x. ये trapezium DC by X इसका area is equal to 9 by 11 of trapezium AB by X AB by X का So, part third में area of trapezium DC by X is 9 by area of trapezium XYB So, first we will find area of trapezium DC by X is equal to half into sum of parallel sides sum of parallel sides into height so half into parallel sizes में है DC और XY. So DC plus XY height हमारे पास नहीं है सिर्फ remain as it is. So DC और XY की values DC is 40 and XY is 50. 40 plus 50. So into it. So this is half into 90 into it, which is 45 into it. This is the area. Centimeter square. Area of trapezium DC XY. Now area of trapezium A. This is X by BA. So half. Is my parallel sides are XY or AB. XY plus AB into X. So half into XY is 50 and AB is 60 into X. So half into 110 into it. So this is 55 into it. Centimeter square. Now we have to take the ratio of both sides. Because if it is opposite sides, then it will come down like this. So area of trapezium. DC by X upon area of trapezium X by BA. So this area is 45 into it. This is now 55 into it. It's a chance. So this is 5 9s are 5 11s are. Equals 9 by 11. So you have your area of trapezium DC by X. This is what you have to do. Area of trapezium X by BA. This is what you have to prove. So, hence proof. We have to show the trapezium area of trapezium area of trapezium area of trapezium area. X, Y, B, A. So this was question 22nd from Adi Sharma and who was the next video for some more questions. Bye-bye.